girl passion welcome back to my channel all right y'all so today as you can tell by the title of this video um i will be doing another q a with some questions that you guys have left recently or the newcomers have left um now some of these questions i probably already answered in another video but i'm just answering them again for the new people um and i will say please check the description box because i do leave a playlist for all of my videos my vlogs whatever you're into my prison wife videos so um if you are new and you haven't seen those you can just click the playlist and i have a list of videos that you guys can look at and get more information so okay you guys so i'm gonna jump right into this i have my notes here so the first question how do you talk to your kids when you're on a visit um, do you go the whole 48 hours without any contact with the outside? So when I'm on a visit, when you're on a visit period, no, you cannot talk to anybody on the outside. You cannot make any phone calls, your kids, any of that. So on the visits that I did go on that my son did not go with me, um, he was with my mother and I was not able to call or anything like that. But you know, that's just what you have to deal with with going on the busy. You cannot take your cell phone in the prison at all whatsoever. You have to leave it in the car. So, um, no, you cannot talk to anybody on the outside. Of course, if it was an emergency as far as something is wrong with you, you have to go to the hospital, stuff like that. You know, of course, that can happen. But calling people, no, you cannot do that on a visit. Um, okay, so how do you apply for the family visit? So, I'll do another video specifically. Um on conjugal visiting because i get a lot of questions about that in my email and down below in the description i mean in the comment section so how do you apply you um of course you have to be married first and your husband actually applies you don't apply your husband um applies with the family visiting coordinator and stuff if he's eligible um, like I said, go look in my description box in some of my previous videos and I talk about that because just because you get married does not mean that your husband is at the level where you're able to get um, conjugal visits. You have to be a medium A, you know, that's like a less security check and all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know. You, you have to Google to get more information about that. But your custody level has to be at a certain level for you to even get them. Applying for them, you don't personally apply for them. The wife does not apply for them. The husband does. Um, and once you get in the process with doing that, he'll mail you the information that you need to sign and all that kind of stuff. And then you'll also get a paper from the family visiting coordinator and um, they'll tell you like the date, the time, blah, 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 if you're going to be there. Um, it tells you in detail uh, what time you're supposed to be there, what time the visit is over, if you bring any children with you, what you need to bring, stuff like that. So, yeah, you don't you do not apply yourself for a family visit. Your husband does. Um, next question. How long does it take to make the first call when your partner gets arrested? Now, when your partner gets arrested, they don't go straight to prison. You know, if you are committing a crime or whatever, when you get arrested, you go to the county jail. So, my husband's been in prison for about 13 years now. Um, when he made his phone first phone call, to be honest with you, I really don't remember. I'm not sure, but that's totally different than prison when you're in a county jail. It's completely different. Um, it just really probably depends on, you know, the facility and stuff like that. I'm not sure how long it takes for them to make a call in the county jail. I really don't remember, to be quite honest with you. Um, okay, what state is your husband in, and does the same rules apply for a different state? So, my husband is in, we are in the state of California. Um, even if you are in the same state, each prison is different. As I say all the time, each prison is different. Um, as far as state, I'm sure states are, some states are different. Some states probably don't even have conjugal visits. Um, I'm sure their rules for any type of visit, you know, one day visits or anything like that is completely different. So, you have to check with the state and the facility, even if you're in California. So, yeah. Okay, um, next question. Is your husband in a state prison or federal? My husband is in a state prison, not federal. Um, I don't know anything about federal. Uh, I think it's like, 
I can't even, I just said I don't know anything about it, so I'm not even about that, you know, whatever. I don't know anything about federal. Um, there is a difference, though, between federal prison and regular prison. It's a difference. Um, next question. What county is your husband in? My husband is in Imperial County. Um, I don't disclose the actual prison that my husband is at, but he's in California, Imperial County. So, yeah. Okay, so the next question is, what sentence did your husband get? Um, I have a video on this. Again, in my playlist, I will list it down below. My husband um, did get a life sentence in prison. The particular video I'm explaining in detail, um, what I believe was on paperwork, what could possibly happen depending on um, the time frame, the age you were, so many different laws and stuff like that. But my husband does have a life sentence on paper. Um, but I would advise you to really check out my other videos because I do give out a lot of information. My personal experiences um, per se, that's all I can go off of. Um, and like I said, things that you don't know, um, that's it for the questions, you guys. But things that you don't know, I would urge you to really call the actual facility because I can tell you one thing and something can change. Um, just like with me, some things that the prison that my husband is at, it, it'll be like this for, you know, X amount of months or whatever. And then the next time you go when there's a new guard or something, something is completely different. So I really do urge you to do that. You can call the prison. You can speak to um, your husband's counselor and stuff like that. You know, they go to a counselor for their goals with their, you know, different programs and stuff like that to rehabilitate themselves. So you are able to call and ask questions. You're able to call the visiting, all of that stuff. You're able to do all of that. So, um, I did my research. That's why I know the stuff that I know and the experience that I have, um, with this. But like I said, things do change like, you know, a lot. So, um, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you already haven't, hit that notification bell so you can be notified of all my uploads. Um, leave your comments below because I still will be answering them. Also, I keep my email inside of my description box so you can email me personally um, if you don't want to leave a comment. And now, you know, it's confidential. I don't talk about that or anything like that. So, yeah, I hope this helped you guys a lot. Um, and I will be doing more Q&As. I'll gather up all the questions and put that in... Um, um, a separate video. Also, I'm going to go into more detail about the conjure code visiting. So, yeah, you guys, I will see you guys in another one.